Hello, my name is Eugene Kravchuk and today we'll be talking about silylation, which is a protection for alcohol groups uh, when used with uh, Grignard reactions. So let's get started. Grignard reagents are really strong bases, so if you react them with an alcohol group containing a molecule, it will react with the alcohol group. Here we want to get rid of the bromine, so if we go the, the original way, we have magnesium reacting, and that would lead us to magnesium and bromide begin together but then magnesium will react with the oxygen and will protonate the hydrogen leaving us with this compound and this is something we do not want what we do want is a compound containing a, a alcohol at the end so what we do is we use a protecting group which uh, here in this case is SICH3Cl which uh, in other words is TMS and pyridine so when we use that, we actually get a protecting group around the oxygen. So now the magnesium cannot penetrate and will only attack the bromine side. And after the reaction is over, we are left with the alcohol group attached at the end. And this is a successful reaction. So to review again, when you have a molecule that has bromine and uh, alcohol and you're, you want to get rid of the bromine, you first have to use a protecting group. In this case, it's TMS. And then, after you use a protecting group, then you use a Grignard reaction to get rid of the bromine. And after the reaction, the, the leaving group leaves, and the OH gets put back on the oxygen, giving us an alcohol group. Thank you so much for watching the Scillation Protection of Alcohol Groups from Grignard Reactions session by Eugene Kravchuk. Have a great day.